Why is my skin itchy every time I go swimming? This is actually a really common question. The first thing to consider is that some people are just sensitive. They have sensitive skin and they're sensitive to chemical imbalances in the water. And these people quite often, or typically speaking, would be people who have a fair skin type or light hair color. Um, darker hair types and darker skin types seem to be more resistant to chemical imbalances. And quite often, uh, through my experiences, I've found that it's the light haired, light skinned people who are the first to react when there's a potential imbalance with the water chemistry. So that's the first thing is that, you know, it could just be that you're more sensitive than the next person. And that might be commonly found when there was a bunch of people swimming, you're the only person that really has a problem with dry, itchy skin afterwards. Uh, so it could just be that you're really sensitive to chemical imbalance. So the next thing could be there's too much chlorine or too much chemical sanitizer in the water. Now, chlorine's important. You need that. That's your layer of protection and safety in the water. But if you have too much of it, certainly that could be a problem. And again, even more so if you're a sensitive person. So, you know, the if you have dry and itchy skin, it's not necessarily just something that happens. It could be related to the water chemistry, something that could be fixed. You know, even if water looks good, there still could be something going on in the water, like too much chlorine. You wouldn't necessarily notice it just by looking at it, but you might find that your skin is really dry and really itchy when you get out. So if that's the case, I would I would want to do a full water analysis and try to find out what's going on in the water to see if we can determine something that's off or something that could be adjusted or fixed. Along those lines, something really common that causes dry or itchy skin is a pH imbalance. The, we want to match the water's pH to our own body pH as close as possible, and that makes it comfortable for a bather to be in the water. When the pH is too low, then the water becomes acidic. When the pH is too high, the water is alkaline. And too far from the baseline, about 7.4, um, you're going to find that some people start to react. And it's actually really common for some swimming pools to run with a pH that's kind of really far like let's say instead of 7.4 let's say your ph is 8.4 what's the big deal right well the big deal is the logarithmic scale so a ph of 8.4 is 10 times more alkaline than a ph of 7.4 or stated in a, another way the water is supposed to be 10 times more acidic than the level that you're keeping your water at ph 8.4 so if you have dry and itchy skin pH is definitely something that I would want to look at. And again, it's pretty common for some pools to run with the pH kind of way out of whack for long periods of time. And so you could have a, you know, a long term problem with dry and itchy skin. And you could think, well, that's just how I am with swimming pools. It could be that the pH has been wrong this entire time. Uh, so something else, probably the most important thing, the most likely thing, to cause dry and itchy skin if you're swimming is a high level of combined chlorine. And combined chlorine is a little bit difficult to talk about because you can't measure it directly. And that's kind of where, you know, pool owners get confused. They're like, well, how the heck am I supposed to do this then? The way you do it is you measure the free chlorine in your pool. And that's the chlorine that's available to, you know, kind of do its job and neutralize bacteria and organic debris that gets in the water. And then you measure your total chlorine, which is a measurement of all of the chlorine in the water. Those two numbers should be exactly the same. When they are not exactly the same, what you have is a buildup of combined chlorine. And you want a very small amount of combined chlorine. As I've just said, your, your ideal amount of combined chlorine is zero. So if you can measure your total chlorine and it is a higher number than your free chlorine, this indicates that you have combined chlorine in the water. And combined chlorine or used spent chlorine or chloramines, these are the things that give you red eyes and itchy skin most commonly. If, if you, you know, go to a commercial pool and a lot of the times you find that it smells a lot. Well, a well-balanced pool is not supposed to smell at all. It's not just the high chlorine levels in a public pool that you're smelling. It's the combined chlorine or the chloramines or, you know, it's a lot of times it's from, you know, kids peeing in the water in a public pool. And that causes a chemical reaction that creates chloramines and that's what you're smelling. So if you have dry and itchy skin every time that you swim, I would like you to do a full water analysis to see if you can find something going on. And there's a number of different things to look at, but one of the most important is your combined chlorine level. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.